Welcome back to Panda Pen Club. I'm just making a quick video, an unboxing in a sense. But what's more important in this unboxing is not the boxing of the pen or indeed necessarily the pen. For one thing, I can't remember what pens these are. My primary purpose here is to share my astonishment with you at how much packaging is involved in the delivery of what I am almost sure just a pair of pens. One pen, another pen. Can I give you perspective on the size of this box? I don't know, there's my head. I think I've got a pretty conventionally sized head. These boxes are the size of a human head. I may open them up and find that I've won a prize. A million pens, perhaps, will come flooding out of them. I don't think that that's going to be the case. I'm using a pair of Sugor chicken scissors, intended primarily for your chickens and generally dismembering chicken carcasses. I mainly use these to chop up little bits of fruit. But anyway, today they're going to be used to investigate the contents of these boxes. So, layer one. Do you remember Pass the Parcel? Was there a song that went with, I think it was, it was quite a flexible game, Pass the Parcel. It could be any song. It could be like Rihanna. Don't start singing Umbrella by Rihanna into your pen review camera. Top tip. Bit of newspaper. More newspaper. Huge bloody box. I could keep, I could keep a sort of family of gerbils in there. Cellophane. I didn't order this. Okay, we're now down to the substance of this. It's everywhere, it's everywhere, it's everywhere. I'm surrounded by bloody packaging. <laughs> really? Really? Box. Box. Is there going to be another bloody box? No. Thank crikey. And here we have. So we have a sleeve, nice black cardboard, and now we have another little bit of plastic surrounding our pen. And on the back it says Crystalline Stardust Pen White. This is the Crystalline Stardust White Pen. And here's clear, oh my lord, look at this. Look at this creature. Look at this little nose and the size of this miniature little cat. What an astonishing little waverly nib we have on our hands. Oh, I'm interested and intrigued. Oh, and we have one of these, these little pumpy pistons. It just says rabbit on it. Just the word rabbit, which I love. Great. Well, I'll be reviewing the Crystalline Stardust rabbit pen in the very near future. Package number two. So we have a slightly more kind of sinister. Oh my Lord. So we have, we have our subterranean police department standard issue bin liner bag. And then we have this. This is a lot of bubble wrap. I don't think I've used this much bubble wrap to transport like all of my precious possessions ever. You know, I used to, I, I'm, a, I'm a guy that used to have a gemstone collection for Christ's sake. I've never used this much bubble wrap. Look. Okay, okay. Now, to be, oh, to be fair, let's just have a look at this. How many square feet of bubble wrap? Here. There's enough bubble wrap to cover a football pitch. An entire football pitch, I think. Maybe. Rather excitingly, that was included. It's an ad, but some kind. In fairness, box of ink included. So you do want a bit of protection for your ink, although just looking at, uh, it's not, not, I don't think it's ever seen so much love and care and attention as it saw inside that bubble wrap in its life, judging by the condition of the bottle exterior. And here we have our pet. It's a hero, embossed cardboard. Very nice, very nice. Another sleeve, good sleeve. I like stacking up my, my pen boxes. It's a little hobby of mine. But this, these, I don't know quite what to do with them. I suppose it's a cheap way of dressing up a, a generic box. Very generic, nothing as such in there. We have the box, we have a little, little hero safety belt. And, ooh, no. One of the most exciting parts for me, looking, I'm trying to find if there's anything extra stored underneath. 
but no. Now this is a Hero with a bit of weight to it. It comes in a Hero branded plastic condom. Here we have the pen itself. This is a Hero, a Hero 38. Well, I'll get back to you on what, what exact safe combination or secret code this hero is. A curious one. Look at this. Beautiful, gleaming metalwork, furniture, and a very unusual nib. Ooh. In conclusion, I'm glad to see that the person sending me these pens, which incidentally cost $5 or less. While I'm touched, I'm also slightly appalled by the amount of stuff necessary to get this. This is all, all this. Not finished yet. All of this in order to get me. Oh no, there's one. Jesus. All of this in order to get me this. And let's take the ink out of the equation. All of this to get me these. Does that seem sane to you? Does that seem wise? I'm glad these got to me in good condition. I'm also frightened by it. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Panda Pen Club on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.